Here's a preview of the little experiment I've been working on. We uh, seem to have trouble from time to time making tigers work out right. So what I've done is I've taken a Lexan tube and I've wrapped a series of over wraps. Actually I used two tubes. And I wrapped a series of over wraps removing the thread, the sacrificial threads, and in each case a different spacing. In other words, using different size threads, different company threads, and you can see right through the tube onto what's underneath. Now right now there is some effect already just with the wrapping itself, but what I have found is I can put this on different size under wraps and figure out what is the best combination of threads to make the kind of pattern I'm looking for. Frequently I like to look for the elongated lines and, and um, islands and stuff like that. But sometimes I just want a tiger um, or a real tight stripe or a real loose stripe or more like um, chevrons. So this is what this is for. Once I get it done, I'll cut, e cut each of these tubes apart and then I will place it over a given under wrap just to see what kind of spacing and what kind of patterns I get out of it. It's been interesting. Oops, kind of blurred it up there. Uh, it's been interesting and I coated each one. That's something that I haven't been doing. I wish I'd been doing more all along. Not only coating the um, over wrap but also coating the under wrap. You can make up your own code. I'm just using the first letter of the thread that I'm using and the size letter of the thread. So BA would be Bullard size A thread. GD is Goodbrod size D thread. So I think that's one of the most important things you can do in your tiger wraps is to make notes. So this will be at the Fred Hall Show in booth 1423, the Batson booth. And I will be giving live displays during the whole show. Not only of this, but also JTOBs. And maybe even a little bit of weaving. It's hard to do weaving at a show, but I might attempt a little bit. Maybe letters or something easy just to show people how it's done. Okay, that's it for now. Here's a bit more of a sneak peek of what I have planned for my uh, little exercise experiment that I've been working on with tigers. Uh, here's a blank or a piece of a blank with several different combinations of wraps on it. I don't remember what these are. The new one that I'm working on will have designations, but this one doesn't. But how is this going to work out for a tiger wrap? Well, if you look down there, I have these tubes. And they have labels on them. I've already shown you one that, that was drawing. But this one here as FA times 4 minus 3 FA. That means Fuji size A thread, four of them, and I removed three which gives me the gap that I have there. Now what I can do is I can move this up and put it on the blank and see what kind of pattern I get. I don't know if you can see that real good but it's kind of an okay pattern. Let's move it on to the next one. That pattern's really stripy, not very good at all. This one is pretty stripy, but better than the one before it. This one's also pretty stripy, but maybe a little bit better. This one's back into stripy again. And here we're starting to see some um, formation of patterns. Back into stripey. Okay, those are all pretty stripey. 
Now, if I go to something smaller, let's say um, Fuji A, let's go even smaller. Let's go with Fuji A and a Fuji D, and I'll remove the Fuji D. Let's see what we get here. Pretty elongated patterns, pretty hard to see because it's so dark. That one's not very good, that's basically stripey. That's striped, but they're a little more elongated, so it's not that bad. Elongated stripes again. And here we go, we're starting to get elongated weird patterns. And this is more stripey, so it's actually going downhill. This one you can barely see it, but the patterns are very elongated. Back into stripey. So you can see with the different patterns, I'm going to try one more. I'm going to go even smaller. This one's a Fuji A. Fuji A with a Sunset B. Stripey with some patterns in on it. I don't know if you can see it in the video. It's very hard for me to see it. Pretty much stripey. This one here starts having some interesting patterns in it. More elongated stuff. Some islands. You can see the pattern moves a lot. This one is also very elongated with an island in the middle of it. As I move it down the wrap. This is pretty much uh, islands in elongated patterns. Again, back into more stripey. Stripey. So you can see with these tubes, I can pretty much tell um, what I'm going to get with a certain set of threads. Of course, the important part is trying to take notes on all this so that you don't have to put the tubes on every time and you can just start off with something. So, this is what I'm going to be showing at the Fred Hall Show in Bill uh, Batson's booth, Batson Enterprises. Come by, maybe bring a piece of blank with a tiger on it, and we'll play around. Have some fun seeing what we can learn together. Okay, talk to you more later. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.